Etienne or Estienne de la Boétie French, Etienne de la Bessie Listen, also Bwati or Betty, Occitan, Estive de la Boétie, the 1st of November 1530 to the 18th of August 1563 was a French judge, writer and a founder of modern political philosophy in France. He is best remembered as the great and close friend of the eminent essayist Michel de Montaigne, in one of history's most notable friendships. Life La Boétie was born in Sarlat, in the Périgord region of southwest France, in 1530 to an aristocratic family. His father was a royal official of the Périgord region and his mother was the sister of the president of the Bordeaux Parliament Assembly of Lawyers. Orphaned at an early age, he was brought up by his uncle and namesake, the curate of Boulbanas, and received his law degree from the University of Orléans in 1553. His great and precocious ability earned La Boete a royal appointment to the Bordeaux Parliament the following year, despite his being under the minimum age. There he pursued a distinguished career as judge and diplomatic negotiator until his untimely death in 1563 at the age of 32. La Boete was also a distinguished poet and humanist, translating Xenophon and Plutarch, and being closely connected with the leading young Pleiad group of poets, including Pierre Ronsard, Jean Dorat, and Jean Antoine de Baif. La Boétie opposed religious toleration, arguing that allowing Protestants and Catholics to both conduct worship services would undermine the crown. He served with Montaigne in the Bordeaux Parliament and is immortalized in Montaigne's essay on friendship. Writings <laughs> 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 La Boétie's writings include a few sonnets, translations from the classics and an essay attacking absolute monarchy and tyranny in general, Discours de la servitude volontaire ou la contrainte Discourse on voluntary servitude, or the anti-dictator. The essay asserts that tyrants have power because the people give it to them. Liberty has been abandoned once by society, which afterwards stayed corrupted and prefers the slavery of the courtesan to the freedom of one who refuses to dominate as he refuses to obey. Thus, La Boétie linked together obedience and domination, a relationship which would be later theorized by latter anarchist thinkers. By advocating a solution of simply refusing to support the tyrant, he became one of the earliest advocates of civil disobedience and nonviolent resistance. Lou Rockwell summarizes La Boétie's political philosophy as follows, to him, the great mystery of politics was obedience to rulers. Why in the world do people agree to be looted and otherwise oppressed by government overlords? It is not just fear, Bowtie explains in The Discourse on Voluntary Servitude, for our consent is required. And that consent can be non-violently withdrawn. It was once thought following Montaigne's claims that La Boétie wrote the essay in 1549 at the age of 18, but recent authorities argue that it is likely that the discourse was written in 1552 or 1553, at the age of 22, while La Boétie was at the university. Some Montaigne scholars have argued that the essay was in fact the work of Montaigne himself. The essay was circulated privately and not published until 1576 after La Boétie's death. He died in Germanon near Bordeaux in 1563. His last days are described in a long letter from Montaigne to his own father. <laughs> Influence In the 20th century, many European anarchists began to cite La Boétie as an influence, including Gustave Landauer, Bart de Ligt and Simone Weil. Autonomist Marxist thinker John Holloway also cites him in his book Crack Capitalism in order to explain his idea of breaking with capitalism. Jean Sharp, the leading theorist of nonviolent struggle, cites his work frequently in both the politics of nonviolent action and from dictatorship to democracy. Topic Gallery. Topic Bibliography. Irv's completes. Editions. William Blake and Co. 1991. ISBN 2-905810-60-2. Discours de la servitude volontaire. Editions. Mill et une nuits. 1997. ISBN 2-910233-94-4. 
Discours de la servitude volontaire, Editions Flammarion, 1993. ISBN 2-08-070394-3. The Politics of Obedience, The Discourse of Voluntary Servitude, translated by Harry Kurz and with an introduction by Murray Rothbard, Montreal, New York, London, Black Rose Books, 1997. ISBN 1-55164-089-9. The Politics of Obedience, The Discourse of Voluntary Servitude, translated by Harry Kurz and with an introduction by Murray Rothbard, Free Life Editions, 1975. ISBN 0-914156-11-X.